them casters all straightened out. A couple of them I had to work with a little bit because they gotten rusty and the little and the little lock on them didn't want to release right. Most of these exterior grade screws that I had put on there wasn't a spot of rust on none of them. But so there, wheels need a little bit of WD-40. It's something we can work with. So we're gonna we're putting them just a little bit to the inside of where those two screws there that holds that piece on, on are. I don't know if that's right or wrong. Y'all can tell me in the comments if I'm doing this wrong. <laughs> Having all y'all watching me, sometimes I turn back. Sometimes I tease my wife and I tell her, I say, with all them people watching me on YouTube telling me what I'm doing wrong, it's almost like I got two wives. <laughs> I still don't think she's forgiving me for that one yet. Uh, we tease one another. Oh, you got to. Yeah. I guess if you can put up with somebody 20 years, almost 20 years, I guess you can put up with them a little bit longer than that. Put this around. Whew. Pull my butchies up. I'm sure y'all will appreciate that. <laughs> You know, just so you know, you know, and there may be somebody out there that don't know. Don't go leaving me a comment, you know. Everybody knows that. You must be stupid or something. Well, you know, you know what Forrest Gump said. But, uh, no, seriously, uh, our local, our, lo our local, uh, lumber shed, you know, they're also a building supply, a small, you know, on a smaller scale. And a lot of you think, well, you know, I'm going to go to the big orange building supply place so I can get it cheaper. Or I'm going to go to the big blue building supply place so I can get it cheaper. These screws, which I'm out of, but they're the square drive. Actually, they'll do square or uh, Phillips. The three inches long exterior grade screws. Like I said, you saw how that, you saw how that caster down there was all nasty. The screws are just like the day I put them in, except for, you know, maybe what little bit I skin them up when I was putting them in, you know, inside. If, even a square drive, when you are got weak upper body strength like I do, even the square drive screws will sometimes, even the square drive bit will jump up out of the square sometime on me. See there? And if you set your, I set my clutch to the highest setting. This is an old, uh, this old, drill. I've had it a couple years, two or three years. Been a dandy. I, got I bought the extra battery for it so I could always have one charging while I'm using one. That way if this one goes dead I don't necessarily have to quit work. And I, I can't use a screwdriver to do this. Ain't no way. But uh, I don't have to quit work. I can just go switch batteries and commence to rub running that other battery down while that while the while one's charging back up. And it worked out pretty good. I've never yet run into a situation, at least for my purposes, where I would need a third. I've never I've always been able to have another battery charged up and ready by the time I ran the one that's in the drill down. So, you know, each is on. It's just depending on what you're using them for, you know, what you're using it for and how much. So there's that. Okay, now what do we need? Well, I was thinking about making this like a deck. You know, that's what I told you earlier in the video. But you know, I got thinking, that's a waste of, that's really a, a waste of resources. Uh, it really is. Because I can take and put a board here and scoot over and center it on 24 inches from this corner, wherever 24 inches is, you know. So I can take and put a board here and then the next one I can put it to where it's centered right here or I can put two there I can put with a with a 24 inch put them together right there I can put two and put one here and just leave the in, inner part inner part uh, open because what I'm doing is uh, oh, not a wash net here, but 
See, this is my rabbit carrier. Look, here's the bottom. See, this is the dropping pan on my rabbit carrier. Look here. See, that goes from there over to here. Okay? I don't really need the, uh, that, you know, the middle of that all filled in. Now, I might take and put one along the side to make it all even, you know, to make a big square. Or, I might take and the pieces that I'm going to cut off, I might just set them on here. I might just put a piece inside here, you know, from there to there. And then the same thing in the middle here and on the end. And then that way, this right here will be the upper part circle. Upper surface, that way it's got support all the way around instead of, otherwise the dropping pans, they could, over time, they could start to sag in the middle. And uh, for what these things cost, I don't want I don't want to start bending them up and what have you. What them doggone things cost for five or six dollars worth of sheet metal, I ought to be able to use them at least until I'm dead. And then my kids might be able to use it until they're dead. But who knows. Uh, anyway, I'm going to shut the camera off. You don't want to see me scratch my head and try to think and ponder and watch the steam come out of my ears and the smoke come off my head. So I will shut the camera off. And I'm going to ponder this situation. And I think I've got some scraps of 2 by 4 over there that'll work. And I might just go that route. Because if I do it this way, see, I'm only going to need 24 inches per piece. If I do it this way, then I'm going to have to run it all the way out. And I'm going to need another 4 and 3 quarter inches. And that don't sound like much, but it does add up. It sure does. So I'll figure it out. I'll come back and give you all a shot at what I'm doing. And uh, then we'll try to get this video posted, but we're going to be, Lord willing, uh, we're committed now. I've got my entry sent in. We're going to be sending six rabbits. It looks like uh, Sangria is going to go to the show. Witter is going to go to the show. Romeo is going to go to the show. And then in the mini Rex, those are New Zealand. And then in our mini Rex, it's going to be Aphrodite, Iris, and Blossom. And Hershey? Hey, good news on Hershey. Since she was cut, since she was cut and is not going to the show, we went ahead and let her get acquainted with Smitty. And she was receptive to his advances, and so there is a possibility that Hershey could be could have a litter on the way. It's it, it was only yesterday and today, filming date now, that we had the uh, that that's taken place. So it's going to be a good couple of weeks. I'm hoping. I'm hoping, I've got to look at days, I'm hoping that we've got time left to confirm or not confirm, confirm or deny or whatever her pregnancy, to find out for sure before because they won't take a Hershey to the fair. And I don't have a problem with that, I just, I don't like the idea even to the county fair where you can put them there and leave them for a few days and they can, that you know, people going by all day long poking and prodding and some of them some of them are even, you know, inconsiderate and, and what have you and will even open up the door and reach in and, which, you know, that's okay if the rabbit's owners are there and you ask, but if they're not there, nobody's there, it's inconsiderate just to walk up to a cage and open up that cage and start messing with somebody's rabbit. Because a lot of rabbits haven't ever seen anybody but their breeders, their owners, and any person. No matter who it is, any other person comes near them or tries to touch them, and it really, really puts a lot of stress on their system. Uh, I can't, I can't, I can't stress that enough. Rabbits are very susceptible to stress. Very susceptible. It's, uh, it's just unbelievable, you know, how, how much of a difference uh, a lot of stress can make on them. But uh, we are going to get back to work on this, and we're, like I said, we're gonna set the camera off and uh, see what we can figure out. Hello folks, we're back again. Here's what, I've, here's what I came up with. I was originally planning on talking about doing something length, lengthwise here, but I came up with some, with some old gray lumber that's been out in the weather, and it still doesn't look the best in the world, but I ran it through the planer and cleaned it up a little bit. No, I didn't show you that, because you really wouldn't see nothing. I mean, yeah, you could see me using the planer, but the doggone planer is so loud you would probably get tired of listening to that racket and just fast forward over it anyway and uh, judging from judging from some of the analytics that I'm getting back on my videos most of you are fast forwarding through my videos anyway because I am so boring I guess that you don't want to hear everything that I have to say or for whatever reason anyway 
I appreciate you guys watching. I'm not complaining. I just got to get better. I just got to get better content. Clutch on my... There we go. Got that fastened down there. Now these are 48 inches long or, well, as close as I could, as close as I could muster. Try to split a little bit, but after what we're doing here, I think it'll be just fine. Now, I'm going to be the other side here. I think as long as those are, see how long that? Take a big bite into this big old thick piece of wood here, and I think one will be plenty. Uh, well, you know, and if later on down the road I find out that that's wrong, well, I'll uh, be sure and let all you let all you folks know that are gonna say, "I told you so." <laughs> I mean, you gotta you gotta figure these. I'm thinking this is gonna hold somewhere around a hundred pounds tops. And it's not even going to be holding that this weekend. I think, I don't know if I told you earlier in the video, we got six rabbits going. And three of them are, three of them are mini wrecks. So they're only going to be, you know, they're pretty, they're pretty light compared to the roughly less than half the size of the New Zealand's. Now, I'm going to locate my tape measure, and what I need to do is kind of, kind of, try to center these others up. I don't, I'm not real particular about it. They're not going to be perfect. So we're going to say 20, so that one's at about seven and a half. Seems like I'll try to hold 40, 40, 11 extra things when I don't have that many hands. You ever have that problem? Okay. Well, now that I've moved that one, it looks about right. This is going to be pretty strong, but now what I may end up doing, ultimately, is, and I'm bouncing the camera again, you know, is putting the board across ways here, about middle ways, and put and button them up against the bottom of these to give them, you know, to brace them uh, vertically and, and try to help keep these from sagging in. And the reason being is I need to get this into production. I don't have what I need to have on hand to get all this painted and everything and all this wood protected like I need to. 
So, if we encounter any humidity, hum, intense humidity or precipitation in our travels Saturday, um, this stuff is probably going to start to bowl, possibly warp a little bit. Now, to help that a little bit, it's really not necessary, but I'm going to go ahead and put this one piece is right up above this thick edge, this thick two by, I think it's two, it ended up by, when I planed it down, it ended up being two and three eighths by two and three eighths. See, that's why I set my clutch. I don't, if you get too close to the end, if you're like down here, if I was too close to the end, see how that pulled that down? It very easily could have split this board right there. So that's why I set my clutch. That way the the drill has a tendency not to pull it down like that. But the problem is that sometimes, sometimes that I hit a hard spot in the wood and it'll max out my clutch setting before it pulls the screw all the way down. I think there might have been a void in that board the way that pulled down. But again, for what we're using it for, it's going to be just fine. See those fancy wheels? You bet. I want that to go down a little bit lower. Just about like that. That way I don't have to worry about when I slide something on here and off here, I don't have to worry about it catching the screw head. I like it to be just a tad below, a tad below grade there. <laughs> set my clutch back. Good thing I didn't forget that. I probably would have split that. Okay. Okay, that's it. For this, for that part. See, it's all I needed. And since this was painted, I didn't want to take the time to scrape it off or sand it off, so I didn't even put any glue on there. Uh, again, I don't think it's necessary. Those nice long screws connected all the way deep into that wood. Uh, and then there's another screw connecting that nice stout 2 by 6 and keeping it all firm and square there on the end. I think we're going to be it, it, just fine. The trick is going to be getting this thing to track straight. And I'm going to have to see what I can come up with to make some kind of a handle to grab a hold of this thing and push it. Make it <coughs> because it's going to be... <clears throat> Excuse me, it's going to be like a trolley. Now, ultimately, I want one that'll fold down. It'll stand up here, and then it'll fold down flat, so we can flip this up on its side, and it's only going to be like that uh, thickness when we, when we need to store it. And when we need to slide it, like stand up on its edge and slide it up in the back of the truck, it takes up less space, and so on. Uh, or actually, we can turn it, we can flip it up on this side. Flip it up this way and just put it right in the back and then close the tailgate of the truck right up against it. That would be even better. That way we know it's in the back of the truck. If, assuming we got a load, I mean, I don't, the uh, bed of the truck is not going to be full by any stretch of the imagination. In fact, depending on the, depending on weather conditions and what have you, the carriers that we do have, we may end up stacking them on the uh, back seat of the truck. Our truck is a, uh, dual cab, crew cab, king cab, whatever you call it. It's a Ford. I don't know what Ford calls there. I guess it's an extended cab, but anyway, it's got a full bench seat in the back. And it's only going to be the three of us going, so there should be room on one side of the back seat to stack up at least a couple of carriers if we need to. I know y'all don't care about this stuff. I'm getting uh, I'm getting uh, too I'm getting too personal, right? Uh well, you know. I like talking to y'all. Most of y'all are fast forward in my video anyways. I guess I guess if there's parts of the video that you don't like, you'll just have to continue to do so. But you know what? Those parts of the video that you don't like, I might try to start leaving those out if you guys that are leaving those that are fast forwarding through my video or you are leaving thumbs down. If you leave a comment, let me know why you don't like the video. Now, if it's because that we butcher and eat rabbits, don't bother. That's not going to change. We're not going to go vegan, as one of my recent trolls kept, keeps insisting. I appreciate those comments, though. You know, they help the video rank better. They help a video get seen by more people. So, negative or positive, I, I apologize to all of you 
that don't want to read them. I really don't want to read them either, but negative or positive, they do help the channel. So uh, just don't uh, just don't react. Just don't react to somebody. Constructive can, criticism is one thing, but somebody who just wants to be negative for the sake of being negative, don't feed the trolls, folks. There's no need. I don't need the drama and stress in my life. I don't think anybody else does either. Anyway, I'm going to see what I can figure out about a handle. Uh, I may or may not film that. I may just cut it off here, cut the video off here. We'll just have to see. All right, we'll catch you all in a few.